Science lab signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Before the break, I ask you the trivial question of the day. What is this? Option A, credit card. Option B, all-in-one card. And option C, a global card. The right answer is option B, all-in-one card. And this is called coin. Coin works in millions of locations, just like a standard credit card from the corner store to restaurant bars, parking meters, and big name retailers. Keep it anywhere you would keep other cards. To use coin, press the button to turn it on. The last card you have selected will show up first. You can store up to 8 cards on coin. Swipe coin just like you would a normal credit card. If the merchant needs to check the card's time, the last 4 digits and expiration date, they are available on coin's display. The name is engraved on the back of coin in case the cashier asks for ID. You can use coin in parking meters, gas stations and most ATMs. Remember to pull it out in one smooth motion. Coin cannot work in machines that have a motorized reader. For security, coin turns off after 7 minutes. Just press the button to wake it up again before handing your coin over to your server. If you leave your coin behind by accident, don't worry, coin comes with security features to protect you. As I said earlier, this is happening all over the world. What we've seen so far is just a beginning. But in countries like Spain, the national identification number is very advanced, all card in one. In a constantly evolving environment seeking to meet society's needs, the new electronic national identity card is born, a high security document where state-of-the-art technology is used in citizen identification, EID, the new electronic ID card. electronic ID card means an end to access barriers. This particular technology was brought forward by NFC Technology, Near Field Communication. This information exchange system works through inter-device proximity. An internal antenna radio frequency makes a direct link between the document and the smartphones or tablets, enabling us to access the new electronic ID card services. Getting it is easy. We will fill out an application in a matter of minutes we can pick it up at the police station from then on, we can access a host of services. The user will not have to go to government offices to request information about fines or documents regarding his working life. There is no need to have a card reader or install drivers. The electronic ID card is simply slotted into the back of a mobile phone or a tablet for secure telematics identification. Through specific application, the citizen will be able to contact the administration to get all the information he needs at any time from any place. The new electronic ID card makes daily life easier for citizens who once identified will have access to the telematics services provided by the administratives or companies requiring secure identification. To fast access through the broader control at airports, to electronically sign an authorization for their children's school, to pay administrative taxes, always ensuring complete security. The new electronic ID card has also been designed to help the police in their work. Each policeman could have a smartphone or tablet to identify citizens on the spot without having to go back to the police station as he had to do in the past. With this NFC technology, no additional hardware is necessary to read the new electronic ID card. This means that the police will have immediate access to the user's record history or previous infringement. Electronic ID card is made with the very latest identification and security system on the market, a product that makes life easier for citizens and the administration alike, a product destined to change society, a product geared towards the future, technology and security of the citizen's service. in the history 
history of the humankind has the technology improved in this manner. Life has transformed into more than living. We are about to become one with the technology. The chip which is in the cards will one day enter into our body. This was exactly foretold some 2000 years in the Bible. In the last days, Antichrist will come to this world and introduce a universal mark of the beast. A GPS enabled chip could one day make it possible for individuals to be physically located by latitudes, longitudes, altitude speed and direction of motion. If you widely deployed at some future point, implantable GPS device could consistently allow authorities to locate missing person and of fugitives and those who fled from a crime scene. And those who resist taking it will be considered as a terrorist, extremist and criminal. Those days are very horrible days. Even the elect will be deceived. What is mentioned in the Bible that are going to take place in the end times are taking place in our lifetime. All these show that we are living in the last days. Lord Jesus Christ is coming again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to tune in into Science Lab next time. Remember, signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Maranatha. Maranatha.